Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com today showing you how to restore a missing Bluetooth icon in Windows. As you can see I actually have it here now. The number one problem, you're probably not going to believe this, is if you right click on your Bluetooth icon you have a lot of choices. The last choice is remove icon, but here's the problem. Last puts you right next there, so if you scroll up and click by mistake, it's gone. So let's get it back. You want to want to go to Bluetooth settings, Windows 10, we can do Windows S for a shortcut and do blue. Windows 7, 8, you can go to start, control panel, devices and printers, change Bluetooth settings. You can find all that right here. And we'll link to this article in the YouTube video description so that you can find it. And also if we find anything new and update the article, obviously it's not going to be in the video, it'll be in the guide. So as you can see, Bluetooth is on. We want to confirm that. And then what we want to do is scroll on down and look for, I believe additional, more Bluetooth options right here. And that's going to bring this page up that you see here. And when you click on that, you want to make sure show the Bluetooth icon is on. Since you shut it off, this is where you got to go. Click OK and watch the right corner. Your Bluetooth icon is back. There's the first couple things you can look at. The next one will be services. Windows key plus run. Type in services.msc. That will bring up services. We're looking for Bluetooth. Let's find it here. It is Bluetooth support service. Right there. Double click that. You're looking for two settings. This should say manual. As you can see mine does. And then service status should be running. So if you're not manual, select the drop down, change it to manual. If you are not running, click start right here and then click OK. And that should get it started. That covers most of you. Now, last but not least, is specifically USB Bluetooth devices. So we're going to want to start Device Manager up. And this is assuming you've tried everything else by doing the Win key plus R and type in DEV MGMT dot MSC. You can also highlight this here and copy and paste that in if you want. And go ahead and click OK on that. So taking a quick look, you can expand your Bluetooth and if you can find your Bluetooth device in here, or if you see any problems, like a yellow exclamation point here, let's say, I don't have a USB Bluetooth in here now, but let's say this is it. If I know that's my USB Bluetooth device, I would right click and I would uninstall the device. When you're finished with that, you can close this device manager, remove that USB Bluetooth device, plug it back in, let Windows redetect and reinstall it for you. That's been very helpful for people with Bluetooth mice, keyboards, stuff like that. So that should help if nothing else does. Now, another thing is a USB. This is kind of a rare one. A lot of the guides skip this stuff because this really has to do with just USB. Up here is strictly Bluetooth settings. Down here, we're assuming you have a USB Bluetooth. So if you don't, you can actually bail out of the video now, click like, Otherwise, one other problem will be, we'll have to bring up Device Manager again. And again, this depends on computer to computer, so it's kind of a pain. So, as you can see, here's your universal serial bus controllers. You can expand them. Now, once again, you need to probably be able to have your USB Bluetooth device plugged in and be able to find it here. I don't have one, so we're going to pick one for an example. Let's say my Realtek USB card reader. Right click on it and hit properties. And you have a couple of choices. Is it enabled? If it isn't, it'll say disable the device. If it says enable the device, enable it. And similar to what we did before, if that doesn't work, you can uninstall it again and let Windows redetect it hopefully properly. A little more rare, so that's why it's down at the bottom of the list. There's a little less chance that's going to happen to you. So, And then finally, now that we're done and we're done, neat little thing you can do here if you're running into problems with Bluetooth once in a while and you need to get to your settings is copy and paste this code right here. Go to your desktop, right click, click on new, shortcut, 
paste that in, click next, and then name it, I don't know, Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, and click finish. So now if you have this problem down the road, rather than digging around, there it is. So that's about it. That's about all we know about the missing uh, Bluetooth icon for now. Hopefully we got you covered. If not, we'd like to hear from you in the comments. We're always willing to update our articles, especially if we can help other people and find the problem. And we thank you for all the new subscriptions. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.